from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Aaron Reeves. Starting off with a quick look at radar, we do have a few showers moving across the area, a few sprinkles down uh, south of McAllister, a few showers, maybe a downpour mixed in there just west of Muskogee. Not severe, just showers. One south of Langston there moving in toward the Chandler area, or areas just north of Chandler. We'll see these scattered showers move through overnight tonight. The air is very dry at the surface, so some of this might not be reaching the ground, but don't be surprised if you do see a few raindrops this evening and tonight. Uh, the past few days, we've been talking about storms coming, and the, the, these past three days temperatures aren't really indicative of what you'd expect leading into a severe weather event, but it's going to recover pretty quickly tomorrow, at least to an extent with how strong the storm system is to at least get something out of it. We did see that nice stretch, but uh, that's gone, at least for now. Here's our storm system. It's rapidly moving off to the east. Here we go. This is Sunday. Showers and storms develop out west, move through during the evening and overnight hours. It gets out of here. We'll see quiet weather will actually be pretty warm through much of the next week until about Thursday or so. Then this next storm system comes through late Thursday. Rain may be on the back end. Some places could see a, a change over to a light wintry mix. That gets out of here. We'll see a couple of chilly days. Then we'll moderate into the weekend. Warmer temperatures do return ahead of another storm system. So we'll keep this active pattern going. And then if we go beyond this around the middle of March, we could get some pretty chilly air down in here for a few days. In the meantime, we're chilly enough, 46 in Tulsa, although that's quite an improvement on where we've been the previous two days. So we'll take it. Tomorrow will be even better. Unfortunately, it's going to come with a downside. Look at look at look at L.A. I mean, we're doing better than L.A., so that that's pretty sad considering we're chilly and we're not as chilly as L.A., but it's just kind of where we're at right now. And this is our storm system. You can see it spinning. I mean, it's pretty much parked right on top of Los Angeles, mid and high level moisture out ahead of that streaming through the area. Most of us in the 40s, these temperatures haven't really gone anywhere this afternoon. This is where they were, this is where they are now, and they're not going to go too much further overnight. If they drop at all, it would just be by a couple of degrees. We're all quiet, low clouds or mid-level clouds at least in place. 46 right now, south breeze at 8. That will gradually increase our moisture content. Then when our storm system arrives tomorrow evening, we'll see that line of strong to severe storms move through the area. And the, they'll develop out west. This is where the greatest risk for those strong to severe storms are. The higher impacts, not going to pack quite as much punch as they move east, but I mean, we're still in an enhanced or moderate risk. So they're still going to likely be severe as they move through green country with still mainly wind damage being the main threat we're going to be looking at across our neck of the woods. So strong winds, isolated tornado chances to spin up on the leading edge of that line. Hail not looking like a massive deal and then flooding with the, the rapid movement not looking like a huge deal either. The window for that to move through will be after 8 p.m. more particularly uh, for most of us, probably after 9 and uh, up until almost around 11 or 12, and then it'll quickly move on out of here. So here's kind of how things look to play out. Tomorrow morning, notice temperatures about where they are now. We'll see things uh, warm up to the 50s to 60s before this line moves in. Notice out to the west around 5 o'clock, moving into western Oklahoma, around 8 o'clock, around I-35, and then around 9, 10, 11, moving through the metro, and then by 11 or 12, weakening and moving out of the region. Then we'll be very windy tomorrow night behind this. Wind advisories in place, but we won't see a whole lot of cool air advect in here. In fact, we'll actually be pretty nice as we head towards Monday and then again on Tuesday with a a stout southwest breeze will be into the 70s as well. So some pretty nice weather after this. We do get the chance for at least some beneficial rain across western Oklahoma, which is a good deal because of the drought conditions far worse across that part of the state. Then that next storm system comes through late week and temperatures pretty up and down, but all in all, we'll see those uh, not be horrible over the next week or so. Here's a quick look at your extended forecast. We're talking about rain and storms becoming likely tomorrow evening. Some of those will be strong to severe, so be aware. We'll be here to keep you posted on it. And then as we go forward from there, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, looking pretty good before maybe, just maybe, some more unsettled weather moves back into the picture for late Thursday.